Yo, what's up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, a new pro first pro again. And in today's video, actually a pretty special guest, guys. This guy is insane. As you guys see, I will play against Hajime. Hopefully, I pronounce his name right. He's actually a Japanese player. Uh, yeah, much love to him. And of course, a big shout out for actually coming onto the channel. But as you guys see, last season, he actually finished number one in ladder. So he's insane, guys. His other stats are actually also really good. As you guys see, for example, the tournament... Um, excuse me like the tournament finish he also has a 24 but then for example ladder like he's just insane on ladder number one number four number 11 two times the 20 wins in uh the serial challenge and as you see over 400,000 uh yeah challenge cards won so this is definitely a really really solid player as you see he just joined so let's uh yeah give him a thumbs back so basically what we're going to do is the best of five uh yeah pretty simple no rules no bans no well of course like now they are draw um yeah rules like inside the game so we can't really have draw rules anyways but yeah as i said no special rules actually i have these uh five decks ready as you see the first one actually pretty popular deck this kind of like um yeah minor control no big spell actually with the magic archer valkyrie bomb tower bomb tower right now is actually really good you guys will see me use bomb tower quite often in my decks actually this uh best of five i think because as you see the next one is a graveyard deck with the bomb tower in it as well third one is a balloon deck with the bomb tower in it as well um this one is actually not with the bomb tower it's actually with the elixir golem so actually i haven't played much with the elixir golem um at all but i actually saw this deck and it looks pretty interesting also i love decks with nato so i thought it would uh yeah be a good surprise and then last one if necessary pekka bridge fan deck so i think i'll actually start off with this um yeah balloon miner also kind of like control deck but then of course having the balloon there is also kind of like a balloon as a win condition obviously so i would say let's just uh yeah pull up the first request not sure if he's already ready, but we actually made the appointment for this time. So I think he should uh, yeah, have his deck ready as you guys see. He actually accepts right away. So let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck. So I'm actually super, super excited, guys. This guy is insane and it will be interesting to see him play on tournament standard. As I said, on ladder, absolute monster. Maybe one of the best ladder players um, yeah, ever. And then on tournament standard also, like as I said earlier, over 400,000 cards won. Um, looks like he actually has goblins and zap. So not sure what this deck could be. Looks like he also has a miner. I'll actually ignore the miner and I might actually go with a balloon miner push um, over here. I'll actually send the miner in the back. Looks like he has a giant skeleton. So a really interesting deck from him. Giant skeleton, goblins, uh, miner zap. So it looks like he also has a tombstone. So tombstone will actually be able to kill the musketeer. Nice tombstone on his part. Looks like he also has a nato so he will be able to activate king tower. He did take a ton of damage but let's see. So he definitely has zap back in rotation I think. Uh, I think he cycled pretty yeah, many cards. Let's actually see what he will go with. Let's actually go with a bomb tower. Let's actually go with a musketeer over here. Um, and I'll actually go with a snowball like this. Pushing back the balloon into the middle. And then eventually the bomb, if necessary, like if the balloon would have had more HP, the bomb tower bomb would have also hit the, um, hit the balloon. So he will definitely counter this with goblins. Goblins will actually end up dying. Um, but of course, we'll be able to kill the musketeer. So I think I'll actually go with a bait ice golem just to see if he has something like, I don't know, a musketeer. Looks like he goes with a tombstone, so I'm definitely happy with that. I mean, baiting a tombstone with the ice golem can definitely uh, yeah, help us connect with the balloon in the next push because this way he won't have a building to distract. So let's actually cycle skellies over here. Um, let's actually, I guess we can go with a miner, especially knowing that he doesn't have goblins to cycle. He shouldn't have too good of a counter for the miner. And as you see, miner will be able to look onto the tower, so that will be yeah, some pretty good chip damage to be honest. Brings out the tower all the way to 834 HP. We do need to watch out. I already used my bomb tower. He might actually go into the other lane um, with the balloon, but I think that's fine. Let's actually go, yeah, with best. Let's go with the musketeer. So the musketeer will be able to, I think, counter the balloon pretty well with the snowball. We do need to watch out with the giant skeleton. Let me actually go with the ice golem over here, making sure that the giant skeleton actually doesn't reach to the tower. Let's actually go with balloon. He actually goes with um, yeah, Goblin, so we'll play his part. Let me actually go with a Snowball, trying to get the Miner towards the tower. Looks like he will be able to, no, will not be able to get one hit onto the tower. So, the Executioner, I'm not too worried about. We can actually counter that with one Elixir Skeleton. So, let, let me do that real quick. Oh, actually, okay, looks like he goes with his Giant Skeleton in the back. Let's actually pressure right away again, guys. Let's go with Ice Golem. Let's go with a Balloon. Um, let's go with a Miner. Looks like he does go with his... Goblins again. Let's see what he drops. He will probably go with his um, tornado, as you see here. So we should be able to outcycle him at one point. He is able to get a lot of chip damage, to be honest, with his 
Um, with his minors, I think she go with another ice goal on balloon push. So his defense is super solid, guys. I think she go with bets again. Looks like he again goes with his goblins. This time he was not able to catch my minor. Looks like he again goes with the zap. Balloon towards the other lane, and I think this might be a good game for him, guys. He he just has such a solid uh, defense, especially also with the XE. Let's actually go with Ice Golem again. Let's go with a Balloon. He will just keep doing the same. Let's actually go with a Miner on defense. Looks like we didn't catch it. Let's actually go with a Snowball um, to push it towards the King Tower. Okay, this will be a really close match, guys, but I think we will actually end up losing it just because there's not really something we could do to break through his defense. Um... Let's go with a Prediction Musketeer for his Tombstone. Looks like we are able to catch that one. Let's go with a Miner on defense again. Looks like we aren't able to catch the Miner. And I think this will be a good game. 110 HP, so we can still do it, maybe. Uh, but I don't think we can. Let's actually go with a Snowball over here. Trying to yeah, distract the XE a little bit. But as you see, he will be able to defend that perfectly. Executioner will actually... Um... Okay, yeah, that will be a good game. So, really well played on his part. Really interesting deck, actually. He had Goblins, Tombstone, Miner, Tornado. Uh, let's quickly give him the good game. Let's give him the well played. And let's give it a thumbs up. So, in the beginning, he actually took uh, Balloon Hit and actually a ton of damage to be able to activate the King Tower. But in the end, it was definitely worth it. As you guys see, like, I, I often say this as well, like, in my videos. Activating the King Tower, even um, taking, for example, a Balloon Hit or taking a lot of damage. Definitely worth it because in the end, it will actually, um, yeah, just help out a lot, like, defending. So, really strange deck on his part. Didn't really expect that, to be honest. Um, not sure what even would counter this deck, because against ground units with the giant skeleton NATO, it's super strong. And against air, in this case, like, he has XE NATO, which is basically all you need for air. So, let's see what kind of deck we could use right now, kind of as a surprise. Um, not sure if he will repeat. Maybe this giant skeleton, or, um, excuse me, this Sparky deck will be good. But if he repeats, he has giant skeleton, he has NATO XE. And he has um, Zep, so a little bit risky because there's always a chance someone repeats. So I guess we could go maybe with this minor uh, yeah, Wallbreaker deck right now and just see what type of deck he will come with. If he repeats, I think we can um, maybe outplay him because we cycle so quick. But his deck is actually super solid, guys. I'm actually super surprised because I'm not sure what deck would be good against it. Let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. And let's quickly start off with... Okay, let's first go with uh, Skellies for the Ice Spirit. And let's then quickly start with wall breakers. And by the way, guys, if you guys didn't notice yet, he's actually one of the best 2.9 players. So it looks like he might actually be playing 2.9 right now. Um, so far, he showed Skeletons, Ice Spirit, Ice Golem. And I'm pretty sure this is actually 2.9, um, which is actually an interesting matchup. We don't have a big spell, so I think he actually has a decent matchup over here. But let's see. I wish we would have gone with the Elixir Golem uh, Sparky deck because I feel like that would have actually been a really good matchup for us. But anyways... Looks like he goes with his Tesla. Let's actually cycle uh, skeletons over here. Let's see what else he drops. Let's actually... I think we actually need to pressure a little bit over here. Let's actually go with Valkyrie. Bats Miner. He doesn't have Ice Golem in cycle yet. I think he will be able to cycle back to it because he cycles so quick. But then he's forced to go with the Ice Golem in front of the tower. Allowing the, um, yeah, the Miner to get quite a lot of chip damage. Let's actually have the Bomb Tower ready in case he goes with his... Um, Expo looks like he doesn't. So let's actually just lock the arch over here. We did get quite a lot of chip damage with... Um... Okay, looks like he actually goes with his Tesla. What plan on his part on the Tesla? Let's actually go with a Valkyrie over here to be able to distract um, the Expo. And this is definitely not a good situation we're in, guys. He actually predicted the Bomb Tower with the Tesla. Really good skeletons on his part to be able to... Um... Distract the Valkyrie like towards the left side and I think this is a good game guys looks like he goes with his fireball Let's actually go with a magic archer over here But I think this is a good game just because the expo is already locked onto the tower will be so much damage And right now he will just go um, yeah defensive mode as you see 572 HP remaining um, He will just be able to ice call on the magic archer so we won't even get any damage out of it and that's just um, Yeah, lock and fireball range so looking really really bad so far guys looks like we will go down 2-0 in the first two matches Let's actually cycle mine of course we will not give up but it's basically impossible to come back with. He would just have, um, yeah, all the time, like, cycle defensive. And then just cycle locks offensive. So, basically impossible from this point. Of course, we'll still try. It's actually cycle magic arch over here. Um, looks like he goes with his fireball. I guess I can go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Skelly's over here. Looks like he goes with his lock. As I said, like, he would just cycle locks. And right now, he just needs um, two more locks and two more fireballs. So, let's actually go with a minor over here again. Let's actually go with a magic archer. Um... But yeah, basically impossible, as you guys see, as Skellies, he cycled back to another Fireball, as you guys see, again, cycling look, so that's pretty much GG, let's go with Valkyrie, let's go with Wallbreakers, let's go with Bats over here, he will have Ice Golem again though, um, Tesla will also do the job, so, 
Yeah, definitely well played. Let's actually give him the good game. Let's give him the well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. No point in trying HSC right now. He will just cycle back to his Valkyrie. Or, um, excuse me, to his Fireball. So definitely well played on his part. Um, actually picked this deck uh, thinking he would maybe repeat. But as I see, he actually went to his Comfort with his 2.9. As I see, his absolute boost, uh, beast, excuse me, with 2.9. Unfortunately, we didn't have Fog Green cycle there for the Tesla to tank like the Bomb Tower. If we had, for example, enough Elixir or in cycle the Bomb Tower Valkyrie, I think Tesla Expo isn't really a problem for us. But of course, like him knowing, he probably played this matchup like already 100 times. He knew exactly when to go with the Tesla and the Expo. Um, also, the Skeletons to pull out the Valkyrie out of range. He just played it the same, guys. Hopefully, we will be able to make the reverse sweep, but it will be really hard. So, let's see what kind of deck we can go with uh, next. So far, it didn't really work uh, with the Bomb Tower. Of course, like first game actually against the Balloon. Second game, he used 2.9. So, I'm not sure what deck to go with right now. I think I'll actually go with um, yeah, this Elixir Golem Sparky deck. And then I will just see whatever he uses. Maybe I can go with the Graveyard. Maybe I can go with the Backup. But I think I will just go with Elixir Golem right now. Because it will be a pretty good surprise. Not sure if he even um, yeah, looked at my decks or something. But I actually have never used Elixir Golem before. So let's actually see how it goes. Let's give him a thumbs up. And let's give him a good luck. So, so far, definitely not going that well, guys. 2-0 for Hashime right now. And he's playing insane. Let's see what he drops. Um, if not, I can just go with Goblins at the Bridge. Yeah, let's just start off with Goblins at the Bridge. Looks like we have Night Witch. We have Elixir Golem. Um... Executioner and we have um poison so it looks like he has ice wizard and zap and ice wizard and zap often means that he has executioner um pekka balloon as you see he already has the executioner so this is also a really really good matchup for him not sure if we'll even be able to uh yeah win this because he has pekka he has um ice wizard zap i'm pretty sure he also has freeze or maybe lightning if he has lightning it's just a hard hard counter if he has freeze i guess we could maybe um yeah, win this, but let's actually go with Electro Wizard over here, guys. Looks like he... Okay, looks like he goes with his Valkyrie. So, pretty good Valkyrie on his part, but I'm not sure if it's worth it because the Valkyrie actually ends up dying. And the Executioner will also probably die. Looks like he goes with his Zap. Um, I'll actually go with a Sparky in the back right now. He was able to get one hit with the Executioner, but I'm totally fine with taking some damage. Not sure if he already cycled back to his... Um, to his Executioner. Let's actually see what he drops. If he has Executioner back in cycle... I'll actually go with an... Okay, he will probably back out the Sparky, I guess. Let's actually go with a NATO over here. Uh, to be able to pull it towards the Elixir Golem. Pull everything together and then the Sparky should be able to splash that. So as you see, Sparky will be able to splash everything. Night Witch actually does stay alive. Elixir Blobs actually are still alive. And looks like we actually are able to take down the tower. Um, let's see what he drops. Okay, looks like he goes with his Executioner. I think we should just, yeah, wait a little bit. I'll actually go with my... Looks like the Sparky actually splashed the Executioner. Wow, that's actually huge. Let's actually go with Goblins over here. Sparky actually able to get another hit. Looks like he goes with his Valkyrie. So 677 HP remaining on his King Tower. And wow, that was actually an insane push, guys. Um, let's actually go with another Sparky over here. Let's see what he drops. I think I can... Yeah, I'll we'll just go with the Elixir Golem High. I'll actually go with a Poison over here. He will definitely go with his Pekka. So as you see, Pekka will be able to, of course, counter the, Elix um, yeah, the Elixir Golem pretty well. But right now we just need to... Okay, looks like he goes with his Nato. So the Sparky actually... Okay, looks like he freezes the Sparky. I'll actually go with Goblins over here. And I'll actually go with another Sparky on defense. So the Sparky on defense should actually be able to deal with the Executioner as well. Hopefully they will actually splash all of it. Looks like he actually goes with... Um, with a Nato. Okay, looks like our Nato was actually... Or our Sparky was actually able to um, hit that. So that's awesome for us. Let's actually see what he drops. He might freeze. So let's actually go with E-Ways already. Looks like he will not have enough time for freeze. Let's actually go with Elixir Golem over here. Let's actually go with a poison. Predicting um, his Ice Wizard or anything. Looks like he actually goes with his Executioner. Let's actually go with a Nato pulling the Valkyrie away from the Blobs. And as you guys see, no, looks like we will not be able to get a 3 count. We will be able to get a win. So at least it's not a sweep, guys. I'm happy he didn't 3 0 us. And looks like we might actually be able to um, yeah, come back. If we win the next two matches, we will actually be able to get a comeback. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give it a thumbs up. So this um, yeah, next match is, of course, super important. If we lose, of course, we're out. But if we win, we'll actually be 2-2. Two -two, so that would actually be insane. Um, so he definitely loves Tornado. He definitely loves, loves Siege. As you see, like two Tornado decks and one Siege deck. So I'm not sure what could be good against that. If he goes back to 2.9... Um, honestly, this matchup on paper or... Yeah, like if I look at it, I think it's actually really good for him. Because he has Zap, he has Freeze... Ice Wizard, Executioner, which is insane, like, against my deck. Because I don't really have a way to kill the Executioner. Except if I tornado it towards the Sparky. But then he could, for example, freeze or zap. So I guess we just got... 
uh, yeah, not necessarily kind of lucky. We just had a really good time and a moment to push. We we're actually able to kill the P.E.K.K.A. and then we were actually able to um, win the match. So I might actually repeat this deck. Not sure if you would expect it because so far I actually switch decks all the time. And then I'll actually go with this, um, yeah, with this graveyard deck. Or maybe I'll just go with this graveyard deck already. So let's see. Not sure what he would use to be honest, but I guess we can go with this uh, graveyard deck right now just to see how it goes. And then maybe if we win, we could maybe go back to the Elixir Column deck. So 1-2 right now, he's still leading guys, he just needs one more win to be able to win the best of 5, but let's see, we're still in it, let's give him a thumbs up, and let's give him a good luck, so we have Snowball, we have Graveyard, we have Megami, we have Poison, um, next card is the Ice Golem, so let's see what he drops, so it looks like so far he's not really dropping anything, I guess I can cycle a Snowball over here, and then maybe Ice Golem once I hit 10, looks like he still doesn't drop anything, so it could be that he's using, for example, a beatdown deck. Looks like he has um, Electro Wizard. So maybe he actually copied my deck. That would be interesting if he copied the Elixir Golem Sparky deck. Let's see what he drops. Let's actually go with a Mega Me for Electro Wizard. Um, if he did copy it, it would be a pretty difficult matchup because he does have Goblins for the Graveyard. Let's see what he drops. So if he goes, for example, Night Witch. Um, okay, looks like he actually goes with his Executioner. So I'm pretty sure he maybe copied our deck, guys. Um, the chance is pretty big. I mean, he did show the... Electro Wizard and he did show the Executioner. So let's actually go with Skelly's off here to be able to distract the Executioner. Musketeer will be able to deal with it. Let's actually go with Graveyard off here. Looks like he goes with his P.E.K.K.A. Not sure if it's a good Graveyard, but I think it's fine just because this way the Musketeer might be able to get some damage onto the P.E.K.K.A. Looks like he did go with his um, Barbell, so we'll play his part. Looks like he also has a Valkyrie. So this time he actually switched deck, so he actually expected us to uh, repeat. Wow, that's actually crazy, guys. He expected us to repeat. I'm so happy we didn't repeat because this time he actually put... Okay, looks like he also has a uh, graveyard. So let's actually go with Skelly's off here for the P.E.K.K.A. Poison on defense for his graveyard. So I guess he kind of tried to snipe us by, for example... Well, I'm not sure if he expected us to repeat. I guess he did because he actually has P.E.K.K.A. He has the exact same deck, but then with Electro Wizard, obviously, like, for the Sparky because last game I used Sparky. Um, and then this time with a graveyard, but I'm not sure if graveyard is the right choice because I actually had goblins in my last deck But anyways, let's go with a musketeer for the electro wizard. Let's actually go aggressive again guys. Let's go with ice golem graveyard. Not sure if he has freeze or he has um... Okay, looks like he goes with barbell. So that's actually really good for us musketeer was able to get quite a lot of chip damage Graveyard is actually getting quite a lot of chip damage as well. Let's actually have the bomb tower ready again and poison in this match I'm not sure if he has a poison it will definitely help us a lot on defense. Um, let's see what he drops. Looks like the Executioner is able to get a hit. Looks like he goes with his P.E.K.K.A. So let's actually go with Ice Golem. We actually cycle super quick, guys. Let's go with the Graveyard. Kind of misclicked the Graveyard, but I think it's fine. Let's see if he goes with his e -Wiz. If he does, we can... Okay, looks like he goes with his Executioner. Um, yeah, I think it's actually better to keep the poison on defense. Looks like the Ice Golem will be able to get the death damage. Mega Man might be able to get a hit. Looks like it will not. Let's actually cycle Mega Man on defense, guys. Okay, let's see. This will definitely be a pretty difficult push to defend. Let's actually go with a Musketeer. Let's go with a Poison over here. He will probably NATO. Yeah, I was about to say. He will probably NATO everything um, towards him. Let's actually go with Skellies. Let's actually go with the Ice Golem over here. Let's see what he drops. Um, let's go with a Snowball for the P.E.K.K.A. Looks like he goes with a Freeze. And I think this is a good game, guys. P.E.K.K.A. is actually onto the tower. And looks like, yeah, this will definitely be a good game. Executioner will also be able to get a hit. So it looks like he will be able to beat us. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a wall plate. And let's give him a thumbs up. So honestly, definitely props to him. He played this super good. He definitely played better than us. I think we could have played a little bit better um, in some matchups. But other matchups feel like we couldn't really do much. For example, the first one had a great start. But then afterwards, couldn't really do anything to break through his Tombstone Tornado. Um, yeah, defense. Then this one, he actually got a really good cycle to us. Also pretty good matchup for him, to be honest. But then at the same time, he actually had a really good moment going with the Tesla and the X-Water Bridge. Couldn't really do anything against it either. Then this one, um, yeah, we actually had a really good push. Actually almost 3 count him. Looks like he says good game. Let's give him the yeah, GG's back. Definitely really well played to him. Also, guys, I will include his Twitter in the description down below. Um, and then the last match, he definitely tried to, um, yeah, I guess kind of snipe our deck like over here. Like the one we used. With the Electro Wizard, with the Valkyrie Freeze. Looks like he definitely really likes um, Tornado decks with Freeze. So I probably should have prepared a little bit better against his deck. But anyways, I had a lot of fun uh, yeah, playing even though I did lose. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know who you guys would like to see next on the Pro vs Pro. This will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye guys.